problem when the water goes up and down on some places. You get this, like, muck washed in. It'll wash out eventually. You can find stuff up where the water's come down, like in these spots. But I'm not seeing much. I might have to go sift some place. There's some fire rock space, but I'm not seeing many flakes or nothing. I'll add clips to this. See if I can't find something up here farther. Anyway, later. Yeah, I find some bottles here, and we've had that high water. I haven't been finding much, but I see a bottle sticking out right here. Oh, it's embossed. What a day maker for not finding nothing. Cork top and embossed. It says something compound. Don't have this bottle. Bowman white pine compound. Man, that's a nice find. I'm going to get back to that place in my oh, beautiful bottle. Blending in a mold. Look at the bubbles in the glass. Just the bottles here when I find them in their hole. They're just as good as you could ask for. They're coming out up in here. There's just new concentrations of them where I can dig. See right there's a piece of a crock. Some kind of stoneware. Bowman's White Pine Compound. Very beautiful. Look at all the bubbles. Beautiful. Just mint condition. Wow. Alright, I got this bottle cleaned up. It turned out nice. Bowman's White Pine Compound. You can see all the bubbles in the glass. It's a really awesome condition bottle. Look at the bubbles back there. No scratches, nothing. You see the seam ends. Right in there. Just real beautiful old bottle. I like it. Never found it, so that's a good one. Thanks for watching, folks. You know, there's a few places to look here for artifacts. Here's one of them. There's a broken Riverton Point. Oh, it would have just been a killer. And the base is snapped off. I just found one of these in my last video. It's like a glowing translucent one. Man, this would have been a nice one. Look, flint ridge, needle tip, lightly serrated edge. Ah, too bad on that. That would have... And I got that little bottle. This would have been a heck of a trip if that would have been old. But I'll get back if I see anything else. Let it... And I thought I'd show you this up close. You couldn't really tell with the GoPro. Look at the micro serrations on this thing. And this will fit on a penny with room to spare. It would have had a little corner notch base on it. It's flint ridge. It just would have been awesome. Look at these micro serrations. Um, here's another thing. This came out of that area. This is what the cores look like so far away from the source. Um, the, this isn't Flint Ridge, but it's high quality stuff. You can see how that's just like a cube. They were taking spalls off this. You can see even that side's bigger than that point. You could make one of these little points off just a little spall off this side. You could take another one here and make another one. That's what they were doing back and forth. They were making them points out of stuff like that. I found them out of the same stuff. I would guess this is Riverton culture. Um, they liked all high quality material and that's high quality too. But I thought I'd show you this. That kind of explains. You can see this piece here would make, I could make six to eight points, tiny points like this out of this piece right here. It's not completely exhausted. It's a good piece of workable material, especially right in there taking pieces out of here. Later. I'm looking up in all these places. Right there's a flake of flint. A flake of black or gray shirt. I'm looking up these banks and look at this blob. Balloon. The seam ends right there. Look at that blob. That's like 1890s. Would have been nice. It's all busted. I'm looking around. There could be anything up on the sides of these banks. Later. You know, this is around where I found that bottle. I'm up river a little bit more. But look here. Here's an old spoon and it's it's all there. This is break. See if it has anything on it. It looks pretty created. Probably not. Might, but it's junk. I just thought I'd see it's old though. Alright, the water's been up in this. Um, I'm trying to look around to see if I see anything else, but I don't. But look at this. This is a shame. This is a big like court 
beer is pre-prohibition and it would have said the Belmont Brewing Company, Martin's Ferry High and it has a Liberty Bell embossed on the bottle. It would have been awesome. Probably a blob too. Blend. Uh, that's a shame. I would have liked to have that. And I'm going to go up the river farther. I'll probably add clips to this. That's probably all I'm going to find. The next place I look, I very rarely find anything. I came here to find some bottles. Um, or try to, and I did. I got one at least. So, that's a victory. Later. Yeah, that wouldn't have been nice, would it? Look at that. Man. That's a shame. Alright, I got another one of these nice Riverton points. It's not as nice as that last one. Um, that was glowing, but it still looks pretty nice. It's right here. Just sifting the base clay. Look at that. Perfect. It's another little true bow and arrow. Beautiful point. Look at that. Alright, another one for that frame. Later. Alright, here's this little Riverton series. Like Miron point that I found in this video. It's real nice. It's all there. It's a true little bow and arrow projectile. It's all, it's nice. You can picture that on a little arrow and you can see my dog Bubby out here. Look at this. Who's this? It's my little girl right there. But let's go over here. I found one, a real nice one of these in my last video. This one's pretty nice. But the last one, I've got way nicer ones. This is a good piece. Here we go. I got a place for it here. Here's other ones. Found most of these on video. We'll put this one right in there. Looks nice in there. Here's the one from my last video. I will put a uh, link up to this video at the end if you haven't seen it. It's a beauty. It's a nice one. You can see the other ones there. Real tiny points. You know, just extremely tiny. Well, thanks for watching. We got the Mokai out. We got some places that I can look, and we're finding our ancient artifacts. So, that's a nice one right there, too. Later. All right, this is what I'm in. It comes apart. The nose piece comes off, and the engine compartment comes off. Put it right in the back seat of your car. It's real easy to put together. Starts right up. It's a Mokai. Mokai.com right there. You want to look into this, they, they're the best treasure hunting boat around. You don't have the trailer. Using a big boat's just bad for the river. It's so shallow. Way out here. You can run this thing in six inches of water. This is what I'm using. Every time I come out in it, I find something because I can go multiple places. It's awesome. Later, folks. Yeah, I'm back home. Found that little gray Riverton point today. And that big tip. Um, but I had to come check on my, my good boy. Look at this good boy, folks. It's my buddy. He was messing me. Was he messing me? You getting worked up? For all you new people, this is my pet squirrel. The squirrel man. Tell him you're nice. You're a nice boy. He was asleep in his corn dog box there. You can see he's got all these covers back in there. What a handsome boy. He gets him a strawberry a couple times a day. He loves it. Well, I appreciate you watching the video, and I'll get back out probably again tomorrow. I'll be digging bottles this week, too. And old squirrel man will be back this week, too, in another video. Later. Over here, I was sitting here. Might have a pond here. I don't know. But I'll show you what it is. Some kind of jar. Looks like it kind of looks aqua. Might be a mason. I don't know. I'll dig it out of there. Might be nothing. But it looks kind of good. I don't know. It's laid out. Alright, this looks like it's going to come out. Yep, it looks like a really nice mason jar. I don't see any damage. Yep, ball perfect mason, real nice, can't argue with that, number three, take that, I dug that bottle out and getting back to it, later.
About right in there where that dirt's at, I've dug in there, um, found some stuff. This has not been touched. You can see all the way down through to about that tree right there. None of this is touched. Started raking, saw a couple pieces of glass give back, and boom, a nice marble just that deep right in here on the side of this hill, and it looks to be a nice vitro agate. Let's see. It is, and it's a beauty. It's got, here, let me show you, multiple colors in that. Look at that. That's a beautiful marble. I think that's a vitro. It looks like vitro colors. It's a pretty one. Nice condition. Later, hopefully I can get more. See another marble. And this is all I've dug, and there isn't much else trash. Um, some plastic stuff. But right here's another marble and it looks nice. See what we got here. It's a beautiful vetri cat eye. It's nice. Real nice condition. Multiple colors in it on that band. Two colors of green. Later. I'm on this dump. I um, moved from where I was at in my last video. It's too wet down in there. Nice layer in here. I just raked out this lid. And I see lots of lids like this, but I've never seen this one. It says Atlas EDJ seal. Take that. I've never found it. Never seen it. Later. Looking for marbles and I always find other stuff. Here's a cool bottle. It's an embalming fluid. But it's a brown one. These are the least common of these. Champion Company. All up the side embossed. They're nice bottles. That's a perfect one. Later. Here's a broken milk, but here's a Coke. Patent office. It's Sistersville, West Virginia. But I take it. It's from around, you know, 1950, I'd guess. All right, I got a lid for that, a tin lid off another bottle. I always take that stuff. There's some more of them. And I got pretty nice embalming fluid. And I got two nice mason lids. But I think I'm going to get out of here. I'm not doing too good. I haven't found a marble. It's still too wet. I'll add clubs to this. Later. All right, there's some stuff in here. I got a little bottle sticking out right here. I don't know what it is, but let me dig it out. There's some older stuff in here. Back into the teens. Um, find like Christmas cakes in here. And it's hard digging now. See, there's a that blue aqua shard there. Probably off a mason. This might be a flask, or I don't know what it is. It's coming out. Oh, it's one of these styrum bags. Great seal. Newark, Ohio. They're kind of cool bottles. Great Seal, Newark, Ohio. Kind of cool. Laid out. Yeah, I just raked that out back in there. It says something NTAL quality with wings, and it's brown. I found a bottle like this that was corked not long ago, right down the hill. I'm laying in here just raking this slow in a thin layer. This looks pretty decent. <coughs> Can't tell what this is. It looks slick. Hmm. I don't know what this is. It's an odd looking bottle. Registered Dr. SBH and Company. Man, that's a pretty old bottle. It's a shame it's not embossed. Heck, it's got bubbles up in it. That would have been awesome all embossed, but still a nice looking bottle. Huh. It's an old one. See the bottom there. It's a shame that didn't have like the doctor's address and stuff on the bottle. Yeah, squirrel man's getting these getting these breakfast breakfast here. Seven strawberries, that's what he wants. 
I'm going to give him a river a lot, and then I'm going to go where I find that real awesome bird point. We'll see if we can find some more points today. There's my good boy right there. He just got up. He's been in his box sleeping. Tell him you've been in your sleep. He's hungry. Well, enjoy the video. Later.